All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mean, Median, Mode, and Range. This is pretty much a review from fifth grade, fourth grade. Um, we're just going to throw in range in there, which is really the only one that's a little bit different. You're going to be doing this today in Mrs. Gell's and Miss Turner's class, so here's the deal. Today, your graphic organizer, you will not submit to me through a picture. You will actually be turning it into Mrs. Gell's and Mrs. Turner. Also, your worksheet you will need to turn in to Mrs. Gells and Mrs. Turner before you move on into the agenda. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. Um, basically, your objective for this video is very simple. You should be able to calculate the mean, median, mode, and range from a set of numbers. All right, so let's define these words and learn how to find them. Plain and simple. All right. So you need this graphic organizer, Mrs. Gills, Miss Turner. They should have it for you. You should have been able to pick it up at this point. If you haven't gotten it, you need to get it. All right. There is an independent task and there is an exit ticket. All right. We're going to take our notes. Remember, okay, at the top of our graphic organizer, it says, what is it? How do we find it? And an example. You're going to see all of those in this PowerPoint and in this video. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay. Right now, we're going to first start, what is the mean, and how do we find it? All right, so the mean. Well, the mean is the, num the numerical average of the data set. So right now, what is it? Well, that's what it is. It's the average, okay? This word you're going to see, the average, okay? You're going to need to know that one. So that's the real big one that you need to know. The mean is also found by adding all the values in the set and then dividing the sum by the number of values. So you need all of that in there as well. Okay, so how do we find it and what is it both on this slide? If you need to pause it, pause it. I'm going to move on. Okay, let's do a little bit of example. So we're going to find Abby's mean science test score. So here are her science tests. All right, so very simple. All we have is all of her scores from her science test. The first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to add all of those values. Okay, so we're going to add them up. And if you added them up, by the way, you can use a calculator for this. Totally. No reason not to use a calculator. Okay, you're going to get 783. Now, how many tests did she take? Well, every circle on there is a test. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like she took nine tests. So what are we going to do with that? Well, we have that 783, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to divide that sum by the number that we had or the number of tests. So we're going to do 783 divided by 9. And if you do that with your calculator, you're going to get 87. And 87 is your mean or it's your average score. So her average score is 87 or the mean of the numbers. That is your example. You should have written this example on the right-hand side. You should have added them all up, divided by 9. There we go. Okay, let's move on to the next one. All right? what is the median? The median is the easiest one. Okay, what, how do we find it and what is it? Well, the median is just simply the number that is in the middle of a set of data. Now, we have to be careful. That set of data needs to be organized from least to greatest. Okay, but it's the middle number. That's really important. It's the middle number. Okay, and how do we find it? Well, we have two steps. You need to arrange the numbers in the set in order from least to greatest, and then you find the number that's in the middle. So it's very simple. All right, so let's do this again. Let's look at those test scores. All right, here's the test scores. And this time, I put them in order from least to greatest. So remember, the first step you should do when you're trying to find median or the mode or even the range, really, is put them from least to greatest. Okay, so now that they're in order from least to greatest, we're going to find the number that's in the middle. And how I'm going to do that is very simple. I want you to watch. You're going to start by crossing off the first one on the left side and the first one on the right side. You're going to do the same thing again. And then you're going to do it again. And you're going to do it again. And wait a minute, there's only one left, and that is the middle number, which is 88. Okay, so the mean or the middle number happens to be 88. So that's the median. All right, now there's a little trick though. All right, ha there's a little trick. <clears throat> the median, it sounds like medium, which is in the middle, right? It's the middle size. But what do we do if there's two numbers that are in the middle? Okay, so what if we do if there's two numbers? So for example, I'll show you a little set. Say we have four, five, six, and seven. What if there's four numbers in our set and there's two in the middle? So if I crossed them off, I have five and six. What would you do? Well, you simply add those two numbers, which is 11, and you divide it by two, which would give you five and a half. That would be the mean. 
or I'm sorry, the median. That would be the median for the set of numbers. All right. So here we go. <clears throat> Let's do this. This time, if I crossed off, crossed them off. Okay. I would have had one, 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 and this time I had two in the middle. What should I do with them? You should add those two numbers, and then divide it by two. So if you add those two numbers and you divide them by two, you're going to get 183 divided by two, and that should give you 91.5. Let's move on. Okay. This time, what about the mode? The mode's the easiest one. Okay. By all means, easiest one. Once again. We want to make sure that the mode is in order from least to greatest. All that data needs to be in least to greatest. Okay? And this is the one that occurs the most often or the most frequently. So a set of data can have one mode, more than one mode, or no mode. Okay? All right. So once again, we're going to arrange these from least to greatest. It makes it much easier to find the mode. And then what we're trying to do is figure out which number occurs the most. So we have a 63, a 73, an 84, an 86, an 88, a 95. Oh, we got two 97s. That one's the one that occurs most often because there's two of them. So we've got two 97s. So that's the number that is the mode because it's the most often. All right. So there we go. The value 97 appears twice. All the other numbers just appear once. So the mode is 97. All right. Now, a hint for remembering the mode. First two letters you give a give you the hint m o mode most often all right there you go all right there we go now which set of data has only one mode all right so we want to look at this which one has only one mode so i want you to look at this okay first thing that they should have done is probably ordered them from least to greatest but what i want to show you is that there is an 18 and an 18 and a 7 and a 7 that means that there's two modes in this one so it's definitely not b okay this one has a 16 and a 16, and the top one has, let's see, no numbers that are the same, so that's fun. So C should have been our answer. It should be C. All right, let's move on. Which data has no mode? Well, once again, we just did that. A had no mode, so boom, there it is. And finally, which one has more than one? I already showed you that one, too. That was B because it had, or sorry, it's not B this time. Ooh, they switched the numbers around. Let's look at it. Okay, which number has more than one? Well, there's a 16 and 16. Let's see. There's nothing in that one. Oops, they didn't mess the numbers up. They're the same. Boom, there it is. It's, it's C, as it should be. It's C. All right, there you go. That's the mode. All right, <clears throat> let's move on. Last one, the easiest one. What's the range? How do we find it? Range, very easy. Okay, the range is the difference between the lowest and the highest values. So very simply, what you're going to do is you're going to find the lowest number, and you're going to find the biggest number, and you're going to find the difference between those, which is simply done by subtracting the biggest one and the smallest one. All right, so it's the largest number minus the smallest number, and that gives you the range. That's how you find it. Boom. Okay, so once again, we arrange these in order from least to greatest. They're already there. We look for the biggest number and the smallest number, and we got 63 and 97. You're going to subtract the lowest value from the highest one, so 97 minus 63, which gives you 34. 34 is the range or the spread of this data. Okay, so it's the range is 34. All right, so you need to try these two on your own. I want you to pause the video. You go ahead and try these. I want you to find the mean, the median, the mode, and the range of all four of those before you can move on, and then you're going to check these. Got it? Good start. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, we're going to go over these real quick. The first thing you should have done is you probably should have ordered these from least to greatest. So we're going to go ahead and do that 76, 76, 77, 84, 85, and 89. That's the first thing you should have done. Next, you should have added them all up, okay, to figure out the mean. And if you added them all up, you would have gotten a number of 489. You went ahead and divided that by... 6, and if you would have div divided that by 6, you would have gotten a mean of 81.16666, which 81.17. Okay, the median. Next thing we had to do is cross them off to find the one in the middle. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh-oh, I got 2 in the middle. If I do that, I need to add 77 and 84. 77 plus 84 gave me a nice number, 
okay, which is 161. Because I had 2, I needed to divide it by 2, and I should have gotten an answer of 80.5. Last thing, I needed to find the mode, which was the one that happened the most often. That was 76, and the range was 89 minus 76, which is 13. Those are the answers. The next one, they're already in order from least to greatest, which is awesome. You needed to add them up. If you do add them up, you get 263. There was also six of them, so you divide by six, and if you would have done that, you would have gotten 43.83333. It's just 43.83. Okay, so 43.83 is the median, or sorry, the mean. Finding the median, once again, you cross off the one at a time until you get the one in the middle, but there's two in the middle, so you should have added 50 and 47 to get 97. If you did 97 and you divided it by two, because you have two of them, you got to divide it to find the average of those two, you would have gotten 48.5. The mode is the one that happens the most often. That one's pretty obvious. It is 50. And finally, the range is 50 minus 30, which gives us 20. Ladies and gentlemen, those are your two. You do have an exit ticket. This will need to be completed be completed. I will be checking this very closely when it's turned into me. So you need to make sure you get these next two correct and take your time. You have a lot to do today. Here's your exit ticket. Ladies and gentlemen, good luck. Find the mean, median, mode, and range.